from CNN, the Comcast Network. This is Comcast Newsmakers. And today we're asking the question, is your personal computer Y2K compliant? Thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure. We hear a lot about all of these businesses and trying to become Y2K compliant, but we should be considering a lot at home. What are some things that we should take into consideration when trying to determine what's going on with a personal computer in 2000? Just like the mainframe computers, all personal computers are afflicted by the same millennium bug. And that's the absence of the uh, two-digit century field in the date, and therefore the year 2000 can be mistaken or would appear if it's 1900. Well, there are several ways that, you know, that uh, your computer uh, can be affected by this. Let's say your hardware is compliant and your software is not. So even though your hardware can detect the year 2000 from the 1900, your software is only able to process the two-digit year. So it will ignore the year uh, century field of 20. So now if you have applications or software that actually does a lot of accounting functions, your budgeting software, uh, this software would tend to do a lot of date calculation, interest calculations, accounts payable, accounts receivable, and a lot of your financial statements are likely going to be affected by a bad date uh, uh, problem. Now the other thing is some software manufacturers would actually use a date control mechanism in order to control their upgrades or releases to brand new software. So what happens is, let's say, as of a certain date, some of their files or some of their uh, applications would be in effect. This is basically like a good example would be tax uh, tables. Right. You, you don't want them to be uh, effective until after a certain date. Now, if you have a problem in your machine, then you have a real problem. You have a real hands. problem. You could uh, infect your data with all types of uh, bad information. Now, what if there's someone who's out there who just bought a computer? They, they're not even safe, even though they just may have bought one just last month. That's correct, because if that computer was assembled at least two years you know, ago, now the bias that could have been used there is non Y2K compliant. A lot of the bias chips were made prior to 97 have a system clock problem. And that is that uh, part of the uh, computer that actually maintains and uh, keep the date and time for the entire system. So now the hardware, you could have the clock off, and then even on the software, there's some things that you should consider too. That's correct, because even if your hardware is able to determine the difference, your software will not be able to, because if it only processes the digit year, it will not be able to recognize the year 2000 from 1900, and the same problem will occur. Now, what do you do in order to keep up with all this moving technology? Well, there's uh, three ways of different things, or three different things that you could you could do in order to check whether your machine is uh, compliant or not. Uh, the uh, simplest, yet not the most cost-effective, is just to replace your hardware. Right. That's what a lot of people don't want to hear about. They have to replace the whole computer. You no, know, I mean, I think that when it comes to keeping up with technology, you have to be almost a millionaire in order to, you know, take care of what's going on. You have other steps that people can also consider. Yes, well, say if you have a lot of investments in your personal computers now and replacing everything is not, is not a, uh, a viable solution, well, you could hire a professional consultant that would eventually help you take a look at the, uh, the different computers and see if they're white to take compliance, whether you could save this hardware and just upgrade your bias chip or save the software and basically come up with patches from software manufacturers and just update this uh, uh, software. If you totally have to replace it, he will help you migrate your data from the old system to the new system. Right, because a lot of emphasis has been placed on businesses and making sure that they get the help that they need. Mm -hmm. But on a personal level, I really haven't seen that much out there. Correct. Up to this very day, a lot of people are unaware that they are likewise affected by the Y2K bug. Even though if they are, it's just like the tax deadline. You know? I mean, right. <laughs> people don't really react until the very last day when you're supposed to do it. Exactly. So people keep those things in mind and certainly they, they can check a certain website to get free software that might be out there for people who do need to help their personal computer for updating. Thank you very much for being with us. It was good having you. My pleasure, Candace. I'm Candace Kelly for Comcast Newsmakers. For more information, tune into CNA, the Comcast Network.